Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, playing a quick one hole match against an opponent and uh, let's see if we can give you guys any tips on how to be a better golfer. My opponent's teeing off first. I expect this drive will be in the region of 320 as it is uh, downhill. Oh, he sure is burning up the clock. There's no wind really to speak of, so this should not be a difficult um, tee shot to set up. It's it's pretty straightforward. There you go, 326. All right, I'm drive. expecting mine will be in the region of 340. Um, I do tend to outdrive most of my opponents. As you can see, there is a... 53 foot drop in elevation. That's to where the ball is. That's where the mark is positioned. I'll be aiming pretty much on top of his ball. Uh, maybe slightly to the right because I think I will be going further. Around about there, 347. Only thing I need to worry about is these trees on the right. Alright, cleared the trees. And, uh, That's a huge yeah, 352. Dive. I was a bit worried that it was going to go over the fairway into the rough on the left, but I'm safe. All right, my opponent's turn again. <clears throat> 146 yards, and uh, yeah, a little bit short, but he can safely two putt from there. I'm expecting that my shot will be considerably closer. Three feet below the flag, so I'm going to use a pitching wedge because we play it at about 120. There's virtually no wind to speak of. So I'll be putting almost full backspin on that and aiming pretty much straight for the flag. Expect a vibration. There it is. And yeah, this is going to be very, very close. Oh, not as close as I wanted. That bit of backspin seemed to take a bit of distance off the ball, a little bit more than I was anticipating. I was hoping to be about two yards closer. Alright, that green is breaking quite a lot. My opponent has left himself with a fairly long putt. He didn't get it as close as he probably should have. Uh, if I sink this, then he won't have another turn to, to putt. Alright, let's try and sink it. And now my phone was lagging there, which caused me to miss the ding. You can probably notice it if you have a look at the swing meter. It definitely lagged as it got closer to the ding point. So we'll both probably make pars over here. Alright, aim just a little bit to the left because there is a slope and sometimes these putts can be tricky. They just drift off to the right and miss the hole. We don't want that. So just got to aim a touch. I know it seems silly to be aiming when you've got a half a foot putt, but got to make sure it goes in. Sometimes you can get cheated by this game by the ball lipping around the hole. Okay, so 117 yards. We have a closest to the whole competition going now. Uh, winner of this wins the match. I'll be playing pretty much the same shot I played earlier. Pitching wedge, full power, 120 yards. If it's anything like this one, it should also go about 118. Uh, the previous one fell two or three yards short of the flag stick. So this is a very, very same shot, except maybe with a little bit more wind. So I'm expecting this will be close. 
All right, so my opponent has overcooked it by seven yards. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and guarantee a win right now. Eight feet above, so we have to actually play at about 120. So this time I won't be using as much spin because I do want the ball to travel just a little bit further. Definitely got to aim to the right. If you look there at those, at those grid lines, you see they are going from right to left. So once the ball lands, it is going to shoot more left. So we want the ball to stop. I don't want the ball to roll too much. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wrong club. I almost, almost made a mistake there. I had a 9-iron. Pitching wedge. Right, let's do that with a pitching wedge. Alright, it's close. As I expected, which as I guaranteed a win. Yeah, as you can see, within two yards of the flag, it's probably about six or seven feet. Alright, 5.54 feet. Uh, easy win, I guaranteed it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel.